Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing um, a, just a quick video about what I keep in my diaper bag for my car. Um, this bag is massive, it's the Queen of the Nile uh, Be Prepared by Hygiene See the gold hardware? Yeah. Yeah, so this initially was my uh, uh, diaper bag. I bought this one first before I bought my BFF. However, this bag is humongous. I thought I could carry it but I couldn't and it was just making me overpack. I was literally packing a massive bag of toys, you know, just to go to Tesco's. It was ridiculous. Um, so I decided to swap this bag out for the BFF and keep this bag in my car. So this is like my overflow bag and I put everything that I could possibly need at well double of that and I pop it in this bag and I leave it in my back seat. So let's just start with the front pocket. So the front pocket is the mummy pocket, it's massive. I don't actually have anything in here. I just have a small um, file with all of my coupons in it. Just got that off of Amazon. So I usually carry the bag, well, actually, I carry it either way. I can carry it tote straps. Uh, sorry, not with the tote straps. Uh, what do you call this? Oh, these tote straps. Cool. Tote straps or the messenger strap. I carry it either way, depending on how I fancy. So just behind the snap closure here, I just have the messenger strap for my uh, BFF. Um, I'm planning on using this to. I'm planning on using this to um, to hook onto my pram because uh, actually yeah, I've been out today with the BFF and pushing the pram is actually it's quite tiring. If it's on your back and you're also pushing the pram with the baby in it. Um, so I was planning to hang it message to strap. See if that so yeah, if that doesn't work, then I'll just buy myself some stroller clips. I've got nothing else in that pocket. Um the side bottle pockets, uh, they're insulating, they've got a magnetic clip, just close like that. They actually do fit um quite large bottles in there. Um, Tommy Tippy bottles I used to I used to use for my son. They they fit in there perfectly. Um, I don't actually have anything in here at the moment. Don't need that one. In the back pocket here, I just have a disposable bed sheet, which I just bought from the pound shop. It's massive. You can use that for, um, you know, just changing, as a changing mat, just in case, you know, I've got to my change pad. I've also got the be prepared change bag. Change bag? Change pad, sorry. Um, it's a really, really big change bag. I just step back to be able to see how big it is in comparison to the um, in comparison to the be prepared. I actually do prefer this change pad a lot more because my son he likes to kick all the time. He's always kicking. Um, so when I change his nappy, it's quite difficult. So he because when he moves and moves and moves, he's always falling off the side of the change pad for the BFF, but this one was perfect because it, you know, it, it was big enough for him. Um, but unfortunately, this doesn't fit in the BFF, so I just keep it in the back of the Be Prepared. Um, I have got nothing else in that pocket. Now for the interior of the bag. So the bag opens up like this. It's just a round. And then there's gussets on the side, so you don't tip the full contents of the bag out. Uh, I always tuck this strap, I always tuck this flap into this back pocket as well. Just so that I can see the contents of the bag. I'm just going to tip it this way so you can see. Right. Okay, so there are two mesh pockets here. There's a larger pocket and a, a smaller pocket. In a larger pocket, I just have a pack of wipes, um, a pack of boogie wipes, and I've got my long straps for the uh, Queen of the Nile set piece and also the Admiral set piece. I don't really want these. I'm never going to carry my set pieces or my quicks across body, um, so I'm thinking of selling these. So if anyone actually wants these, let me know. Um, in this smaller mesh pocket, I don't have anything in there. Um, in this quick, in the Queen of the Nile print, just have 
change of clothes. So just in case I change of clothes in my bag, I'm not saying my BFF gets soaked and wet. I've got another spare change of clothes in my car. This is just a zero to three months onesie, even though it's going in four months, still to get into the just three months stuff. Um, and just got a vest, zero to three months as well, and a pair of socks. Nothing else in that quick. Um, in this next quick, which is um, in the Empress print, this is where I carry all these extra uh, nappies. So I've got one, two, three, I've got four size three nappies, they're pampers. Um, I've got a pack of travel wipes. And some garbage bags. Vaseline. And just a sample of, I can't talk about stuff. <laughs> yeah, just a sample of that, I'll use that for the nappy cream. And then there's nothing else in that quick. Again, are similar to the um, to the uh, quicks in my BFF. I also had this, these ones like tagged up, so if anyone was to go into the car bag, they'd know exactly what was in this quick. Okay, we just have a spare blanket, bib. Oh, yeah, just a general bib. Um, I also have a spare bottle. But this is a Tommy Tippy bottle, it's uh, 9 ounces. Uh, I'll just keep it in its eye case, it's not bad. It has been sterilised and washed. Ooh. Yeah, it has been sterilised and washed. Okay, uh, I also have a Ziploc bag with a formula dispenser in it. Um, I've just got some formula in there, 5 ounces in it. Two types of or two five ounces, um, just in the formula dispenser, just in, just in case you know, in case something happens, I don't know, I run out of milk in um, my everyday life, I have some extras in my car bag. Uh, my son loves to be read to, so just in case um, he gets a bit bored and there's someone to sit in the back with him, I have a book, it's my first Bible story. I got this on sale at, um, I believe it's called World Books. Um, they're doing a massive sale. It was like the cheapest to trim off everything. And so I got some really, really lovely books. One of them was my first Bible story. And they've got some cute quick pictures, so cute. It's just some short versions of the Bible stories and some of the words even rhyme. Inside this larger section, this is where I keep the majority of his toys. Um, I've got Dino Tales, it's just a book. Um, it's crinkly, so it really gets his attention. It's got loads of colours. Um, the tails are very, very colourful. I've got this like, for $1.99 off eBay. I've got loads of them. They've got Snowy Tails, Dino Tails, Brown Tails. I definitely have a look. My, my son's favourite toy. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna push it at the moment because he's actually sleeping but if I push it it makes a screechy noise and you have to be really really careful with it. Just got some rings to teach him how to hold onto things. Got two extra books, it's uh, Peppa Pig's family and uh, Peppa's Garden. I've got that with the um, with the sale as well for world books. Yellow rubber duck. <laughs> okay. In this bag, um, I haven't got a beanie in there. I've actually got um, a micro sterilizing bag from um, Munchkin and also just um, a bottle brush in a bag. Um, usually, if I go to my parents' house or um, my partner's parents' house. I can't be bothered to bring two full bottles at all. I do, I just bring one bottle and I wash it when it's finished. I sterilise it in this bag and then I use it again. Um, it might be a little bit long, but it saves a lot of space in the bag. And also these bags are reusable. You can use them up to 30 times in a day. I think they can last long. I've got them off Amazon, so 
Let's look at the next one. Um, so it's empty in the back there. Not empty. Copy bits in there. I've got um, a pack of my gummy cliff at the bottom. Or some gummy from Tate Gummy. I don't know why I've got that, but I mean, never mind. So you can read it. Um, I've got nothing in this side pocket. So nothing in this small pocket as well. This pocket, there's nothing in there. Oh, and this side pocket here. I just have some extra hand sanitizer. This is the Nerd Center hand sanitizer. Um, it's really cheap, so very a pound for the hand stuff. Um, I don't really like it though because it's got a lot of alcohol in it. Well, I don't know if it's a lot, but you can smell that alcohol in it. And it also dries out your hands really, really bad. Um, but yeah, I just have it just in case. You really need some hand sanitizer. Um, I believe that is the end of um, that is the end of the video. Yeah, so definitely I recommend for everyone to have a car bag um, because you never know when you could be in trouble. You never know when you need that one extra bottle or that extra blanket or that extra nappy instead of instead of having to go to like Asda. Or Tesco, and la la, and go buy some extra scrub for the rest of your life. Just have a car bag. I mean, it doesn't have to be this nice, nice duty free one. It's stupid, it's quite expensive. It could be anything. You could even get the carrier bag, but I really, I really, really do recommend that you get a car bag. Thank you.